An empty possession again for Brigham Young. That was Elijah Bryant, who averages 18 points a game, misfiring. And a lob back door for Scott from Bateman. Uh, I, I kind of expected a little more from him, and he's a really good all-around player. That's a good sign for him, the three ball going down. Bateman with a crossover dribble and buries the three. And, and got a layup. That puts the defense on its heels, and now he has wide open three. Markison in to Scott. He got it blocked by Bryant, but got it back. To yeah, I had him on pretty, pretty early. He was like in my top ten if I had to cut it down. What's going to be interesting is can he play at the next level? Right. I think that's, you know, a, a lot Mormon of Mormon mission. Normally, guys go on two-year Mormon missions. He cut this one short after a year. Bateman finds another shot this time over Josh Shear Hardnet, and he's got seven. Make no mistake. That was quite a game last Thursday. LMU just couldn't put him away. McClendon's not much of a score, but all you got to do is get it in front of the rim for the big fella Williams to tip it in. That's what. And it's rebounded by Allen to Bateman. Bounce pass to Scott, who throws it down, and it's fouled. And it's rebounded by Allen to Bateman. Bounce pass to Scott, who throws it down, and it's fouled. Allen, he's not much of a scorer. He'll get it out to Bateman, who is a scorer, and he launches from three and has another. Averages just over 13 a game, but a takeaway for LMU. Scott might have more here against Dastrup. Count it! Oh, he's having the game of his life! Yeah, the averages just over 13 a game, but a takeaway for LMU. Scott might have more here against Dastrup. Count it! Oh, he's having the game of his life! Yeah. yeah. BYU with a zone. To Fear Williams to Haney for three, and that looked good out of his hands. And it goes down. BYU 3 of 12 on threes. And Zafir Williams yeah. from the outside. Eli's a coward. <laughs> and his dog spot. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> yes, Steve. Oh, Bateman. nice. Man. And the reverse laying on the baseline. If you want. Worthy. <laughs> and his dog spot. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> yes, Steve. Oh, Bateman. nice. Man. And the reverse Jeez. laying on the baseline. If you want. That was just old school. Give me that. Yes, he was. A lot of playground like Red Venice Beach. And Bateman muscles it up and in. They shoot. They reestablish the post. Markison scores almost eight a game. And picks it off the window. Oh, you got to call it out with when I did. shoot. They reestablish the post. Markison scores almost eight a game. And picks it off the window. Oh, you got to call it out with when I did. To a 12-point uh, advantage, matching the biggest of the ball game, and Zafir Williams gets it to go down, and he draws contact. But still, still impressive, because he's been there over a hundred times. Allen, oh, it might be their night, Doug. Yes. Here's Scott. Scott scored 14 with seven rebounds. It wouldn't go down. Williams, the offensive rebound on the second chance bucket. Yep. Here's Scott. Scott scored 14 with seven rebounds. It wouldn't go down. Williams, the offensive rebound on the second chance bucket. Yeah, they would want to have back. And they had the opportunity to win that one, only, uh, only losing by a point. Bateman, a three with Cannon trying to close. Second half. And BYU get another stop. Yeah, and Steve, BYU travels well because those are BYU fans that you hear cheering. <laughs> Eli Scott. LMU looking to take as much time off the clock as they can. They'll shoot with seven to go. Haney, no. Oh. Markison. <laughs> Big fella. Six seconds came off the clock. Got it blocked from behind by McClendon. Oh, he's such a good defender. Now we'll have a guest in just a moment. Lions win this one, 76-69. They improved to 7-15 on the year, 2-9 in conference. And BYU goes to... Now we'll have a guest in just a moment. Lions win this one. 
76-69. They improved to 7-15 on the year, 2-9 in conference. And BYU goes to... All right, welcome back, everybody. Jesse Cass back with you here courtside. I'm joined by tonight's player of the game, James Bateman. James, thanks so much for joining us courtside. First off, congrats on the win. Uh, what did it take to get back in the win column against a very good BYU team tonight? Thank you. First of all, I want to thank God, because without God, I wouldn't be in this position. So I want to thank God. But uh, it, it was hard fought. Uh, we finally put a game together where we got two halves, two halves. Sometimes we'll start off real slow in the first half and then try to make a battle in the second half. And then sometimes we start off real good and then fall off. So we wanted to put two halves together. And uh, the defense end helped us to get the win tonight. Yeah, defense was huge tonight. You guys scored 16 turnovers. You had 14 steals as a team. What led to that defensive pressure, and how did you guys, how'd you make those guys so uncomfortable? Well, in the last match, uh, we found out in the second half that uh, our ball pressure can kind of affect them. So even though we lost there, we, we took something from it. And then this game, we wanted to uh, make sure we play up the four ball pressure, 94 feet the whole game, and uh, the ball pressure ca caused some disruptions. We got some turnovers, and that led to easy offense for us. And for you personally, 28 points tonight. You're really efficient from behind the arc early in the ball game, and then attacking the half, attacking the basket in the second half. Uh, how were you able to have that complete all-around game here tonight? Uh, my teammates helped set me up. Uh, I got a great team. Even though it's a down year for us right now, we still battling. We still love each other. Every day we come in and fight, and they help me, and they prep me. If I have a bad game, they pick me up. So my teammates helped me get open, set good screens, and ha had the faith in me to take those shots. And finally, what can a win like this do? And you said it's been a little bit of a rough year, but a big win like this going forward with still games remaining in conference and, you know, time to make up in the standings. Well, all, all we've been saying since we started conference was one win to turn it around. And we took a couple L's in a row, but – we needed one win to start a spark to turn us around. So hopefully we're hoping that this win can carry us over to the next one, string two together, and, and make a push because when it comes to the conference tournament, it's a one-game one playoff. And, and that's our goal right there is to, you know, get a good position and have a chance to, you know, win it and go to the NC2As. All right. Well, this is definitely a good start. We'll look forward to, to getting to Portland tomorrow. But congrats on a great win here tonight. Congrats and thanks for joining Thank us you. here. Thank you. James Bateman Appreciate in the win. He had... 28 points, Lions win by 7, 76-69, the final here from Gerson Pavilion tonight. So we'll give you some final stats before sending it back to Dalton Green, who has the post-game report.